Today, we're building this workout tracker in Notion from scratch. A walk through the whole process, going from a blank page to this insane gym dashboard. If you're a headquarters user, you can follow along to build it directly into your dashboard, but even if you're using your own setup, it will all work the same. By the way, if you're new to Notion, this will be a great tutorial on understanding how Notion databases work. Subscribe for Notion tutorials and let's build from scratch a workout tracker that records your sets, reps, and weights and categorizes them by the date so you can see how you've progressed over time. Let's dive in. So I'll be building this page in headquarters, but of course you can build it in your own dashboard. If you are interested in my template, there's a link in the description. So in headquarters here by default, we have this fitness page and that is one of the buckets in my life. So what I'll do is open up this page here, make this full screen. And in here, I'm going to create a new database. So what I'll do is forward slash data and write database. And here I'll click on table view. This here will be a new database and I'll call this here workouts. Now this database will be a gallery. So what I'll do is click on settings and change the layout to gallery. If you find layouts overwhelming, I have a full tutorial linked in the description where I go into details on that. And in here I can add my different workouts. So bicep curls, for example, and I can also add cover and get a link from online, search on Unsplash or even upload an image. So I just asked ChatGPT to generate an image of a bicep diagram. And what we can do is click here on layout and change the card preview from page content to page cover. And now I can see this bicep here. So what we'll do is add all of our different workouts in this database here. Now, the next thing that we're going to do is forward slash database, and this will be a new database and this will be our workout tracker. So this database here has all the different types of workouts, such as a bicep curl. And then this one here will actually track our workouts. So the first property I want in here is to relate this database to this one here. So to do that, I'll simply click on relation and I'll click here on add relation. So now when I add a new page, I can click here to the workout and select bicep curl. The next thing I want to know is how many sets am I doing? So I'll click here on add property and add the number. And this number here will be the sets. And after that, I'll obviously want to know the reps per set. So here I can write reps. By the way, if you want, you can add property here and create a simple formula, which will be the sets times the reps. And you can click on done. So then if you have three in here and you do 10 sets per rep, you can see that it calculates that to 30 total reps. Now, the next thing I want to know is how heavy is the weight? So I'll click here on number and this time do the weight. I can see the date, the workout that I'm doing, the weight of that workout, the sets, the reps, and now the total automatically. Now what will happen over time is you'll do your workouts and let's just say all of these here are bicep curls. This might get a bit confusing in your workout tracker as you might have your dates and stuff muddled up. So I'm seeing October 20th here, October 20th, and then 21 and 23. So what we'll do in this workout tracker here is click on the settings here and we are going to group this by the date. So now I'm seeing it broken down by the day instead. And of course, if anything was in the past like that, it bounces automatically like this. And we can sort this here by the date as well to ensure that it's always in order. So now we've built a workout tracker that relates to the workouts. The next thing we want to do on this workouts page here is to see a list of every single time we've done that workout. This will help me in seeing the weights, the sets and reps over time. So what we'll do on this workouts database is click on the down arrow and click on new template. This is a template in a database, also known as a page template. So I'll just call this a new workout. And here what I'll do is forward slash database and click on table view. And instead of clicking on new empty database, we want to see this workout tracker database in here. So I'll search for workout tracker and I'll click on that database. Now it will show me every single entry into this workout tracker database. So what we'll do is click on filter here and filter it to only show whatever this workout is. So we'll click here on workouts and I'll select new workout. Do not select bicep curls or another one as this is the template. So this will automatically get changed. So we'll click here on new workout. And as you can see, it's empty. Before we click away, it's also useful to sort this by the date. So now we'll see every single time I've done whatever this workout is on this page here. So I'll click away and now that has been set up as a template. So if I click here on bicep curls and now click on this new workout template, automatically it loads in every single time I've done a bicep curl. And here I'll be able to see the weight, the sets and reps over time and it's automatically sorting this by the date here. This is incredibly useful as I can see over time, maybe it goes 25, 20 and 30. I can see this weight changing over time. I can see the sets changing over time. And because we made that as a page template, every time you add a new workout, this will automatically be connected to that specific workout. Now, the last step I recommend for your workout tracker is to merge this with your tasks. 
So what I'll do here is click on add a new page. And this here can be my workout. And here what I could say is the bucket, of course, of fitness. And I could add a relevant project here as well if I wanted. So because I've labeled it as fitness, if I scroll down, I'll find this here on my fitness page. I can see that workout showing here. But when I'm in the gym, I'll probably have this mobile HQ page open and I can see that workout task here. And so I don't have to open up this fitness page and scroll down and go to all of this stuff. What I want to do is build in that information into the tasks here for workout. And we can do that again by creating a template. And this time we'll create that as a task template. So in here, you can see I have some habit templates. I have a journal entry template. I have weekly and monthly reviews. So what we'll do is click here on add template and this will be workout. So for this workout template, we could do, you know, an arm emoji, for example, we could say the bucket by default is fitness. We could add urgency, importance, state, all of that stuff. Let's make that a personal task. And in here, because this is the template, I can add the database here. So click on database. And again, we won't do new empty database. We'll do workout tracker. And in this workout tracker here, we're going to filter it to only be the date of this day. So now I can fill in this information on this workout page. Let's scroll down and go to the mobile HQ. Most likely you'll be on this page when you're in the gym and you'll be on the phone. And then here you can click on add a task and we'll simply select here workout. So here, when you add a page automatically, it will be labeled with today's date. And you can select here the workout that you're doing. So obviously we just have bicep curls in here and you can fill out these different properties in here. And that information won't just show up on this page, but you'll find these workouts here. So let's just say I lifted 100 as an example. You'll find that information then on the fitness page. So if I scroll down, I can see here 100 on today's date. And that's how to build an effective workout tracker in Notion that not only houses all of your different types of workouts, but it tracks your workouts and it actually connects to your task list and to your calendar. If you're interested in headquarters, there's a link in the description. Or if you want to see the full tour for the template, then you can click on this video here. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you found this useful.